In this video, I'm going to be talking about three mistakes that you cannot afford to make as you start your A-levels. So my name is Lewis Matheson. I used to be a physics teacher. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I have seen students making mistakes with at the beginning of year 12. Now, the first one, number one, is being overconfident. Yes, you might well have got a grade nine at GCSE, but that doesn't guarantee success at A-level. Now, there's a big difference between what you did at GCSE and A-level, and obviously well done for the grades that you have got. But it's definitely possible to coast through year 10, do a little bit of work in year 11, and then when it gets to exam time, to cram, and then get some really, really good grades. Unfortunately, you can't do the same as you go into A-levels. You can't leave everything to the last minute, thinking that just before your tests, before your exams in year 12, or your final exams at the end of year 13, which do seem like years away, you can't leave all the revision until then. So the first thing you don't want to be doing is thinking that just because you found some of GCSE easy, it's gonna be the same at A-level. Okay, point number two, this is kind of the opposite. The second thing you don't have the mistake of doing is thinking that everything at A-level is going to be super, super hard and it's going to be beyond you. Now, granted, if you were to maybe look at a year 13 exam paper now for A-level, the questions would seem really, really difficult. And if you try and do too much at the beginning, you're going to not feel confident in your own abilities. Now, let me just reassure you that if you've done your GCSEs and you've now been accepted onto a course for A-level, that means you are suitable for that course. At times, especially in the first few weeks, you're gonna go into a lesson, it won't make much sense, you'll be given a huge amount of homework to do, you'll have this textbook that just looks unintelligible, and if you try and do A-level standard questions now, you're gonna find it really, really difficult. But do not worry about that, if you're at the start of year 12, you're basically a year 11, maybe in like a smarter suit or something. So you still have the brain of a year 11 student, but you're now doing the year 12 work. And it's this transition as you start your A-levels, which is often going to be the hardest point. And if you're year 13 watching this or somebody who's just finished A-levels, if you have any advice for people just starting out, please put it in the comments below. So the second point is, do not be underconfident. You will maybe question yourself at time, have you taken the right choice? But actually, it will soon become a lot easier. And now the third point, the third mistake that I see students do, is to not take ownership of their own work. And actually realise that at A-level, it's down to you to do the work. And if that means doing stuff that your teachers aren't talking about, if they're not telling you directly to do that work, you've got to be taking that responsibility. So the third mistake is people not working independently, getting motivated and thinking about how they can actually solve some of the issues that they might face. For example, you know at the start of year 12 that in a couple of years time, fingers crossed, there will be exams and those exams are going to be in May, June time. Now that is a fixed deadline. The other thing which has been pushed out there by the exam boards is the full course specification that outlines everything that you need to be learning, I suppose, over the next couple of years. So there's these detailed points that tell you everything that you're going to be learning, including how to do some of the practical works, how the exams are going to be formatted and so on. That information is out there. There's also stuff that you might have uh, in your textbook. So you can read the textbook in advance. You can independently work through questions. If you're doing physics, which is a subject that I do, then there's nothing to stop you signing up to Eyes at Physics today having a look around the website, having a go at some questions, and then thinking, actually, I'm going to need to know this stuff, so I'm going to do the work myself. And of course, you can teach yourself a huge amount. It's not all down to the teachers to be spoon-feeding you information. You can read the textbook in advance of the lesson. You can watch some videos, and I've got a couple of videos over at alevelphysicsonline.com, so there's loads of stuff there that you can basically be using yourself, working independently to actually help you um, you know, achieve more in your lessons and any tests and exams that you might have coming up. So the third point is not taking that responsibility for your own learning. So in summary, number one, do not be overconfident. Just because you smashed your GCSEs, it doesn't guarantee anything at A-level. Number two, don't be underconfident because although a lot of the work you're going to be doing might be quite challenging, you do have the ability to do it over the next couple of years. And the third one is the mistake that people make is not to take charge of their own learning. It's down to you now. You can work independently. There's a lot that you can do to help yourself get into good habits from the start and it's all going to be absolutely fine. I promise. 
Anyway, if you like anything I've talked about, don't forget that you can subscribe to me on YouTube. And if you want to find even more videos for physics, go to alevelphysicsonline.com. And yeah, I hope the next couple of years go really well for you. Thank you.